So Jill and I are old, and we don't know what the kids are saying these days. There are a lot of terms that have jumped out at us, and you know, it made us realize that we're not as with it as we thought yeah, we were. We're not as cool. We're not as cool as we thought. If kids even use the word cool, I don't even know. We thought it would be really important for us as parents, in order for us to effectively communicate with our children in the future, to keep up to date with these terms. Yeah, we got to stay on top of what the kids are saying, yeah. what the word is on the street. Yeah. You feel me? I feel you. All right. All right, so let's get into the video. Let's do this. Okay, so we have our slang terms over here. Yeah, we have our we each have, visual aids. Yes. CEO. Okay, I think a CEO means maybe like like a boss babe, you know, like someone who's into like side hustles and starting businesses. You're close. Is that kind of like that? It's, it's pretty good. Like my, my example would be like, oh my gosh, that girl has it together. She's so CEO. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like that? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Okay, you want to know what the yeah, actual, what's the actual okay. definition? Uh, when someone is a CEO of something, it means they are the very best mm. or have mastered it. So it's Interesting. Pretty close. Okay. What does Finsta mean? Oh my gosh. Finstagram? Okay. I think you're <laughs> onto something. Uh, seriously? Like a fin? Like a fish's fin okay. on Instagram? So, so you really think that a Finstagram is like an Instagram account with like fish's fins on it? Yes. So incorrect, but it does have to do with Instagram. So you monitor your team's social media and are probably even connected with them on Instagram. Well, they might also have a Finsta. What the heck is that? Fake Insta? Which is a second secret Instagram account. So we gotta watch out for those Finstas. Ooh, this one you might know. What does Snatch mean? Oh, okay. I know this one, I think. Because okay. I've heard Jill use it. I don't use that word. After you put on your makeup, it looks like Snatch. Like it's amazing. So yes? Snatch. You don't have to worry if you hear your teen saying that someone or something is snatched. It's actually a compliment. And it could sound something like this. I love those sneakers. They are so snatched. Oh, okay. So, so it could be it could makeup. Be anything. It, yeah, they use it in the yeah. makeup community. But okay. it could be like anything. Like your, you know, your hat snatched. I snatched right. it out of the closet. I'm baby. Can you use it in a sentence? I'm baby. Like I have a feeling it's like kind of like no, my bae, my boo thing. I'm baby. Like it just doesn't sound like a proper sentence. It has That's nothing why. to do with relationships. And I'm assuming it doesn't have anything to do with children. Maybe someone who's like a beginner at something. So here's the definition. Feeling helpless or not capable in a certain area of your mm, life. Okay, cool. I'm baby at this. I'm baby at this. I'm baby in slang terms. <laughs> okay, what does spill the tea mean? Oh. Oh, I just learned about this one the Did other you? day. Did you? Okay, cool. It's like when I you, know what this is. When you like dish, right? When you want to talk about something, right? Or you want to like express something. I think it's more like of a gossip term. It's, if you hear your teen asking a friend to spill the tea, it means okay, that they like, want to give hear me the, the latest details, gossip story. Like, I have to admit that like I know exactly what this means. Tea spill is literally like clickbait for me. If I see like, oh, spilling the tea, like I'll, yep, I want to hear the tea. Tell me about the tea. A Stan. Stan, I know exactly what Stan okay, means. Yeah. Stan is sort of like, it's like a fusion of the word like stalker and fan. Yeah. So like you stan. Do you know where so it comes from? Like, you know where it comes from. Eminem, no, yeah, yeah. It is? Yeah. <gasps> oh, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, that's where it comes from. I thought it was from. because yeah. it was like a fusion of the two yeah, words. Stan, because it's like yeah, yeah, a yeah, rapid fan, you know? My tea's go cold, I'm wondering why. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I spilled the tea at all. Oh my gosh, this is just combining all of the... the Eminem is the, is Eminem the future is of Gen Z. <laughs> definitely not baby. Alright, I'm, I'm ready for my next one. Snack. Snack? It's a snack. noun. It's a noun. Snack, it's a noun as a snack as well. Can you use it in a sentence? Yo, that, I have a feeling... that girl is fine. She has snack though. Okay, so then yeah, that's kind of what I suspected. It's probably like very attractive yes. human beings. You're a snack. Yeah, I would never say that to any girl except for her. Oh, thank you. If she's a snack, I'm like a freaking buffet. <laughs> How about what is L-M-I-R-L? Oh my gosh. Let me in relationship liar. <laughs> Lady, let me in relationship liar. So it is an acronym that people use in texting. L-M-I-R-L means let me in real life. Oh, wow. Okay. What is a whip? A whip. Yeah. It's not a dance that comes before the nene. Is it a verb or a noun? Like, it's are a you noun. Whipped? Whipped. Come check out my whip. 
I can only assume that it means like a car. Yeah. 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 My ride. Yay! Yeah. Cool, my ride. Okay, my whip. Come yeah, check out my whip. So I would have assumed that it was like talking about whipped, like. Whoosh. TFW. TFW. Ooh, I like acronyms. And maybe it's not something you say out loud. It's like something you would write. All I have is like. Thursday, Friday, Friday, Wednesday, <laughs> kind of like, I don't want to hang out on TFW, <laughs> just SS. <laughs> That's my answer. That, okay. It mean? <laughs> if it means that feeling when. Oh. TFW, when okay. the rain is falling and you have a cup of coffee. So it's kind of like what you would post instead of like mood. You would yeah, post like that, TFW. That feeling when. I'm just going to make this one up because I heard about it. What does it mean to simp? Oh, I know this one. Yeah. When you are like just completely killing yourself over someone, like someone that you stand. I can give an example. It's yeah. like when you're like a hot girl that's a Twitch streamer, and then there's all these guys that are just like pining for you. And, okay. Like, they want to give you all their money. Yeah, simping. Yeah. But like, I think there's another way. Like, even if it's just like a guy who really, really likes a girl and is kind of like going above and beyond to impress that girl. What is uh, Karen? Oh, Karen. Filippelli. <laughs> She's either Filipino or Italian. Karen, uh, yeah. What's her name? Uh, Kate Goslin. <laughs> <laughs> we really revealed our age with that one. Kate Goslin. Yeah, you know John and it's Kate written, no. plus eight? Yes, it was like a reality TV show circa 2004. Wow. <laughs> our millennial is showing. Karen. Come on, everyone knows Karen. You know that lady that you hate? when you're working at a Target or, or a Walmart and then she comes up and wants to complain, lot. wants to see your manager. Yeet. Spell it. Y-E-E-T. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that this has nothing to do with alliteration. Um, it's acronym. Like a saying. It's, it's probably like, just like a saying yeah. that's like completely random. So I'm just gonna fully guess. A yeet. Yeah. Yeet is like... It's something that you say, like an expression. This food is disgusting. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Don't eat, it. eat it. It's disgusting. It's a way to express excitement, like to say like yes to something. It's also used to accompany a throw, like yeet. Like you're th literally throwing a ball or like you're throwing an know. insult. Personally, I find that this one is one of those terms that it's like, it doesn't even roll off the tongue. People can say it so different, like yeet, yeet, yeet. yeet. I'll do one last one. What does by Felicia mean? Oh. Okay, yeah, I know this one. Right. It's from a really old but amazing movie called Friday, Love starring that. Ice Cube and Chris Tucker. Wow, you know so much. It's become a meme um, lately Okay. on the internet. You go like, bye Felicia. Okay. It's just like dismissing someone out of your sight. So like, if there's a Karen, <laughs> yeah, you just be like, <laughs> wow. bye Felicia. And she'll be, be like, awesome. my name's Karen. <laughs> I don't think Karens are actually named Karen. What? I'm just kidding. I knew that. I know, I, know, I know a lot of really sweet Karens. Comment down below if you're a sweet Karen. And comment down be <laughs> below if you're a Hello Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> so that was our video, guys. We actually realized that we're very old and we don't know a lot of these terms that kids are using these days. I honestly thought that I would do much better, Same. but I failed so hard. I think that there were a lot more terms that I might have guessed correctly. But there was a lot more that I just fully didn't know. Yeah, I mean, I'm still using like slang from when I was in high school. It was a really fun video, a fun experiment, and hopefully it gave us the opportunity to learn a little more about what kids these days are saying. Yep. So comment down below if there are any slang terms that you used to use. Or any that we or, missed. Yeah, or, like, yeah. comment down below and we'll try to guess it. And please like this video if you enjoyed it. And please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from us, and also hit that bell icon if you want to be alerted on you know when we drop our videos thank you so much guys um and we hope to see you in the next one bye bye